Hi there, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK. You've uh, you've caught me in the shower. You didn't think a video would start off like this, did you? Well, it is Sunday morning here, the 1st of October, and it is NEC Toy Fair Birmingham 2023, the UK's biggest toy show, and me and Cheeky Monkey are going again. So we're going to give you a little bit of a travel vlog, and she's going to film all the toys. And hopefully, you might see some Who Crew members, because there's going to be a big UK toy collectors meetup today. So we're quite excited. Time to jump in the shower, and we'll get this show on the road. Uh, we caught Cheeky Monkey in the act of getting ready as well. You're in your lovely uh, towel. What are you rocking there, dear? Yeah. Uh, uh, just just washed my hair and got out the shower, look. Yeah, Toy Story, I think, is right. You're very on theme, Oh, yeah, dear. on theme, on theme. Very on theme, right. Yeah. Cheeky Monkey's going to get some clothes on. Let's uh, get this video before it gets X-rated. Well, we are fully dressed and we are in the car. Clothes are on and Cheeky Monkey's even sporting the duck hat, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Look at that. So we are going to get going now and we'll give you a bit of a travel vlog on the way. We'll see you in Birmingham. All right, we start off with a shot of the sat nav. So we've got just over one hour to go. So we're heading over the bridge now. The motorway is below us and we will emerge on in a second. Cheeky Monkey once again at the wheel, look at the concentration on her face as she drives in the duck hat. Typical British motorway, uh, full of caravans, full of bloody caravans and lorries. Uh, we're nearly halfway there though. Skies are looking, again, rather British, rather grey, so Admiral coat, so might be getting wet today. There we are, there's Gaz over there in his Range Rover, wherever he is. He's been a winding cheeky monkey up, isn't he? Hogging the middle lane. He is, he wouldn't move over. Yeah, she's not impressed, but we are now uh, Coming up to uh, Roadworks, I do believe, in some average speed check cameras, so she'll have to uh, slow it down. There's the average speed check camera, then 50 miles an hour. Of course, nobody's working on a Sunday, so why we're still doing 50, no idea. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, this is our junction, the NEC Birmingham, as we change lanes and we merge. Here we are. Uh, goodbye, traffic. Hello, toys. Here we are, the NEC. They hope we enjoy our stay. There's a, there's a results world over there. I think uh, our good friend display ones, Rich M, might be in there somewhere. Uh, here we are, we are entering the car park. There is some attendance there. It is free parking though for the day. Oh, it's very busy today. Here we are, so Cheeky Monkey's parking, in we go. I think we have, uh, we've made, look at that concentration on her face. Is I right think right? Sure we've right? made it safely. Where are we? We're in uh, N2 Zone E. So if we lose the car, somebody tell us. It's time to go and meet some humans. Let's find some members of the UK toy collecting community. All right then, so we're outside, there is the building itself, and look at the queue, it's going on for absolutely miles in there. We've got to see if we can find everybody. Wish us luck. Well, we're in, we've, uh, we've passed security. Cheeky Monkey didn't get a frisk in, we're okay, but the queue is, the queue's right back there. This could be a long time. Right, we're in the queue, Cheeky Monkey is here with me in the queue. There's a lot of people in this queue, it's 3D. And there might be some familiar faces behind me, there's Craig. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. It's Hill Phones. Phil Jones is here as well. And Dan, who and Rich are somewhere in this queue. See if we can spot them here on the Toy Fair 2023. Right then, we are in. Here is an overview of the hall. It is rather massive. I'll go on my tiptoes, as you can see, right to the back there, all the way round. So we will, uh, we will endeavour to film the whole thing as we go. So Cheeky Monkey will be in charge of table filming and we'll see how we get on. Who crew assemble. Look at those uh, manly forearms in that picture there. So uh, we're going to do a bit of a voiceover now. So there's everybody we met at the Toy Fair. It's Jay here with you. And of course... Cheeky Monkey Kiara. She is here. Now we've got Cheeky Monkey Kiara to thank for all this footage. So do drop your monkey emojis in the comments section of this video. Because without Cheeky Monkey, we'd have had no footage of the toy tables at all. I was far too busy talking to people and having a bit of social interaction, which is unusual it's a rare for me. Thing for you, isn't it? It yeah. is, dear. So you were in charge of filming all the tables. And there's a lot of erroneous arms in this. So somebody's arm was with you. I think it was probably our friend Craig. It probably was, to be fair. <laughs> so, yeah. So we, we've taken about 15 minutes worth of footage. Well, I've edited it down to about 15 minutes of footage of all the toy tables here. So you can see some of the things that were available to purchase here in the UK. Some Star Wars Black Series we are currently looking over now. And, of course, Power of the Force 2. That stuff's been out since about the late 1990s. Nobody can shift that at all. So 
we will go through and we'll give you this fantastic little voiceover. And there's also a very special little interview segment coming up in around a minute or so's time. As a cheeky monkey did an interview, didn't you, dear? I did, I did. Who did you get as your uh, interviewee? I had Mr. Who as my special guest. Mr. Who. So Mr. Who is coming up in a minute with a special interview. He has a he has a little pickup. So what are we looking at here? Some very random, very mixed tables, I thought, this year. Yeah, there was a lot of mixed things. But yeah, interesting to nostalgia, going back and remembering toys we used to have. So that was quite good fun looking at all those. So It was quite a lot of modern, actually, on this table. And now here we are. So here is the Builder figure, a box of Builder oh. figures. Not a thing we were expecting to see. So I think Craig's having a dig. But coming up now, then, the interview from the Builder figure section. Pow. Okay, Dan Hu at Toy Fair. Usually I just browse, usually I just look around. But today I made a purchase, people. I went and I spent the big money, the big bucks. Four pounds on a Caliban arm. I have a complete Caliban now. Will I spend any more money? Stay tuned. And there we are. That was Dan Hu caught live on the shop floor. They're interviewed by Cheeky Monkey Kiara, picking up a builder figure piece. And hopefully he did get the correct arm for Caliban. And spoiler, I can confirm he did get the right arm, so he's okay. Good. He was debating back and forth, wasn't he, uh, what arm to get there. So here we're looking at a bunch of Lego minifigures, quite a lot of those there. Our friend, of course, the Detached Brick, he didn't turn up. He went to Canada, so go check out his video in Canada. He went toy hunting there instead, but he will be with us at MCM coming up at the end of the month. So we'll be doing one of these style blog videos again. Probably won't start that one in the shower, though. Probably not. That one will be an early start. We're on a 4 a.m. coach, aren't we? To uh, Not looking forward to that. To MCM London coming up at the end of the month. I think we're going on Saturday the 28th of October to that one. And again, being a lot more of a meetup. Talking meetup, do stick around to the end of this video because the last 10 minutes of this, we've got a really good bit of footage for you. We've got everybody's prickups. We've got interviews with Dan Hill himself again. We've got Craig's nostalgic collection. We've got displayed once. We've got Rich M. And for the first time on the channel, we have Hill Phones. Yes. So Phil Jones also has a pickup segment at the end. So uh, please do stick with us for that. We're looking at some Thundercats here. There's a little snarf, of course, Super 7 coming out with the snarf soon for £55. I think I'd rather have that one for a tenner, but uh, I didn't pick it. I didn't pick him up. Didn't pick a lot up, actually, did I? No, no you were too busy talking, to be fair, and socialising, which is such a rare thing for you to do. So, yeah. <laughs> How were your feet? I know you felt a bit tired, didn't they you? They weren't too bad this time because I actually had a break and I went and had a, a drink in the cafe there and had a sit and a chat with the others. So that was quite nice to do that. You did. Oh, this is your segment. Uh, I've got to go for it. Backpack. This is some lounge fly bags. We've got, I have no idea which ones those are. Daffy Duck, is it? Uh, I don't know. I have some form of Disney yeah. looking duck. I only filmed it for the Toy Story bag, to be fair. But yeah, oh, we've got a bit of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas there, it's Jack and Sally. A giant Jack there. You do like your lounge fly, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I haven't actually got a lounge fly bag, but... Don't you? I can dream. No. I thought your Buzz Lightyear one was. That one's a special one from Asda. And Asda special. You got a one. Children's department, that one. <laughs> Fantastic. There we are. You've got uh, somebody looking at a table there, and we're looking at, all oh, the Lego Sand Crawler. I know that's one that Matt was after from the Detached Bricks, or I recorded it for him, but I think that was about £500. And there's a really cool piece here. Lego Grail, definitely. The Helicarrier, the Shield Helicarrier, that thing's absolutely massive, but extremely expensive. But the 90s Toy Biz there, there was quite a lot of 90s Marvel Toy Biz there. And what, of course, Hasbro recreating those on the retro cards, but that is the original card that they were based on there. So we continue our tour here around Birmingham. Cheeky Monkey, what have you filmed here? I quite like because I like Game Boys. I used okay, to have Game, Boy, the Game Boy, so I filmed a lot of the Game Boy stuff. So it was taking me back to my childhood when I could play it on handheld game. I quite enjoyed doing it. We've even got a reminder there. Stick around for the main event tonight. As I said, everybody coming up with their toy pickups filmed in the car park of the NEC on the Hoomobile. So you will see Dan Who's car uh, acting as a sort of a dolly as we tried to film all the pickups. I think that was Craig's arm, was it? Craig's arm, yeah. He was helping me out. He was picking up figures to show the camera. So thanks, Craig, for all your help. There you are, yeah. With Abandoned Cheeky Monkey and Craig, they went on a little date. <laughs> so they're looking at a load of Star Wars Black Series, it seems, there. There's Yoda from the original Blue Line, of course. Uh, I'm sure Craig will good. He's, he's really giving you the big sell here, isn't he? He's doing really well. He's my little tag team partner. 
showing you all the uh, different styles of Black Series boxes. Did he buy any, though? I don't think he did, actually. I don't no. think he did. Let's have a look. More, we got more Black Series. Absolute ton of Black Series. This table's always here. Or some Hot Toys there. There's Luke and Grogu from Hot Toys. Quite a few Hot Toys I uh, saw uh, snuck into this video, actually, as I watched the footage back. And one of them I would have liked to purchase, but I didn't even see it at the con. There's Jeff Jarrett. I must have told you to film my Jeff Jarrett. Of course, I was devastated when the WWE Ultimate Edition of Jeff Jarrett got cancelled when he went over to AEW. So there is the... Uh, Retro looking version from Zombie Sailor. Jabba the Hutt's just chilling. The original Kenner Jabba the Hutt there. We've got some classic Ghostbusters boxes, some classic Turtle boxes. So, again, a very mix of stuff. Not just, we didn't film it. You didn't film any of the trains, did you? All the cars. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think that would be of interest to you on your channel, but. Maybe I should have done. I don't know. Yeah, there, was, there was a rankle there. I think that's Craig's hand again. Yeah. He's looking at some G.I. Joe from over the years. I don't know what sort of era these are from. Definitely, I'm going to guess these are early 2000s, maybe, for some of those uh, G.I. Joes you were looking at there. Of course, he is a big fan no, of that's, Joes. that's my hand. That's your hand. That's my hand. Doing it looks that. a bit manly. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your fingers. Was, uh, <laughs> she showed me the fingers behind the scene. You I can't see that here. So we've got a table of loose figures. Do I see Doctor Who there, potentially? I think that's David Tennant. I can see that. There's a couple of Wonder Womans there. I thought these were quite good, actually, for the price. I uh, thought they weren't too bad little they, figures. They were cheap, were they? Some of these loose yeah, bag like figures. Yeah, they were like £6 or something. So I, I don't pounds. recall even seeing half these tables as we actually did go around the cons. So there's some older... Some older Star Wars figures there. I was looking for a three and three quarter inch Endor Trooper because I need him for my Return of the Jedi display, but I couldn't find one. Well, tell a lie, I did find one, but he wanted 85 quid for the thing, so uh, that wasn't cutting it. There's a classic Batman 66 there. There is a classic Joker. Have just got the Mars Toys version of him come in in the Hot Toy scale. There's some Gotham figures at the back, and they're cheap, and they're good for the diorama bases because they use a lot of their diorama bases in the toy collection. Oh, and there's that Batwing. Oh, that was £275, that Batwing, which is pretty much half what it is on eBay. So that was a real big temptation for me. But I, I held strong and didn't buy it. And I kept thinking about it, but about an hour later, I went back and somebody had already... Uh, Already purchased it, so that took away that decision. That saved you some money then, didn't it? it? It's just so big, that's why I passed on it in the first place. But that was quite a good price, to be honest, for, uh, for something like that. So we've got some of these uh, third-party wrestling figures here. And coming up next, it's Dan Who. Yes, he will be coming up. I thought that looked like a bit one of his uh, power emojis there oh, as yes. I was editing. So he will be uh, coming up in a second as we see him. She gets a bit of secret footage of him. I don't even know he's been recorded. We'll find out in a second. Again, some loose wrestling figures here in the Hasbro styling. A lot of these aren't Hasbro, those these are the modern retros disguised as Hasbros. So coming up now on the very next table, I know we have the action figure collector. There he is in his natural environment. You might see him there. It's Phil Jones, it's Dan Who. They're negotiating. It looks like Dan is cradling a, a King Shark there from DC Multiverse McFarlane. Don't think he purchases it though. Having a good chat with a seller. See, that's it's just the environment, isn't it, for the toy collector? A bit like David Attenborough on this bit. Phil Jones has left. He's buggered off. He's had enough of the McFarlane, but Dan's still uh, working his magic there. There's some toys on the floor. They're literally everywhere. Just, uh, you've got to look under the tables at this convention, yes, don't you? Yes, it's my hand. That's your hand that time. That's uh, picking up a turtle. I didn't see who it was. I think it was Donatello. Uh, there's your boy, Leo. Of course, the NECA movie turtles. That's your feet, my definitely. Feet, yeah. It's hard to do it just with myself, like, trying to film everything. Well, now she's found the hot toys now, so there is one of the uh, speeder bikes. And there is the Mandalorian and Grogu. That I think it was down to uh, 400, and that's sold out online. So that could have been a potential purchase for me, but I didn't actually see the thing. So, yeah, uh, yeah, you're lucky I didn't see Probably the thing. Probably a blessing otherwise. in disguise. Yeah, it would have been a lot poorer. Lots of the NECA gremlins there. There was a lot of NECA at the convention. So I do need to pick up a gizmo. Now, I did make a purchase from this very table, that alien pile you will see coming up later in the video. One of those figures was purchased by myself. I did some digging in that pile. Great to see a lot of Halloween stuff. Michael Myers was everywhere at this convention, but luckily for you, nobody was in cosplay, were they? No, that's all good for me. Not a massive fan of the cosplay, Cheeky Monkey. She gets a bit scared. There was a, that's some of the horror cosplay, but she did get away with it this time. Was oh, a granny. You filmed a <laughs> granny. What are you doing filming a granny? <laughs> 
<laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, that's what you come to Jay's Toy Collection for. Quality content. Quality granny footage there. There's some old mid nineties Stargate figures there. Doctor Who, you filmed that for Jamie. I, I did, take it. I did. Shout out to Jamie. You ever watch Doctor Who? I have. You have. I haven't. No. What else do we have here? No idea. We got more for Jamie. We've got Buffy and Angel. My goodness, Jamie, be having a lovely yeah, time. Had a nice time on the store. I, think. I wonder if we'll see some of this stuff at, at MCM London. There's of course a DC Essentials comic Wonder Woman. Again, more random sort of mid-90s figure. Oh, and there's White Rabbit. I assumed you filmed this section <laughs> for the uh, the infamous White yeah. Rabbit there. Who crew member has... No, she's been kicked out, isn't she? Out. She's a goner. We have some NECA turtles, of course. A couple of the two-packs. Here's a really cool piece. I'm talking to Jamie, he's got that piece. £60 for a DC Icons Batgirl there. Underneath, you've just seen the Doomsday and Superman, Death of Superman set from Icons. I used to have that one. That was a really nice set. There's the brand new Red Hulk from Diamond Select. That looks really good. Right next to the Marvel one as well. And then what else we got? We've got a couple of big, about 12 inches there. Maybe it might even be 18-inch Batmans uh, on the table. So I'm literally watching this for the first time as we do the voiceover. So I have no idea really what Cheeky Monkey has filmed there. We've just seen The Watcher, more Michael Myers, modern Michael Myers. Oh, and there's a, there's, there's a, there's a Bigfoot there. Bigfoot. Harry and the Hendersons, isn't it? Oh, is it? Harry and the Hendersons. That was a, was that was a Jim Henderson Productions, wasn't it? Early 90s. Yeah, that took me back when I looked I think you said this was a local seller, wasn't it? From, yeah, I uh, from think Cheltenham. it's vintage. Chatham Vintage Toys? Or oh, okay, so we must called. have to go and check. I did have a look at the, uh, some of his loose biker mice from Mars figures on that table. And we're over now to the NECA section, so we must be getting near the end of the actual pure toy table footage now, because I know this is one of the last things we saw. So there are some NECA turtle figures and a few bits of DC McFarlane. And coming up next then, ladies and gentlemen, it is everybody's pickups. I would say the main event of the video, definitely the best bit. So do stick with us for that section. It is quite a good one, if I do say so myself. Live from a car park, what more footage do you want? So this has been the Toy Tables. This has been NEC Toy Fair Birmingham 2023. I've been Jay. I've been Kiara. And we will see you, of course, in the next segment. So our last little bit here is some Star Wars, and then we will cut to the end of the convention and the car park. Hello and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK. We are after NEC Toy Fair and there's a little bit of a surprise behind this sign. We might see some pop-ups. It's, uh, it's Rich M. Uh, it's Dan uh, Who. Uh, what it's going on Phil down there? Jones. It's, uh, it's Craig. I don't know what's going on behind this Toy Fair sign, but we are all here. It's been a great day. There's been a lot of pickups. Some bargains have been had and it's been a really fun meetup. up uh, Look at these things. Some absolute cracking purchases. So we'll see you all in a bit. Pow! We are set up here on the Hoomobile in the car park <laughs> of what you might be able to see behind me as the NEC here in Birmingham Toy Fair has finished for the year of 2023 and we've got some pickups to share. So we've had a full Who Crew meetup, so they're going to come in one by one and show you what they've got. But here's my stuff to start. So I've got Ripley from the Alien 40th anniversary line and I got her for £35, which is retail which I was quite happy with because in-demand toys, unfortunately, sold out in the sale. So she's with me. And I've got this little fella, the Toad Air Marshal from Bucky O'Hare. And key, I've got his little hat. So this bad boy set me back all of four pounds. But to get his hat for that price, I was very impressed. Now I'm gonna bring him on one by one. Come on in, it's Mr. Hill Phones himself, fully on the channel, it's Phil Jones. Hello, Phil. Hello, Jay. How are you doing? Did you have a good day and what have you got, sir? Fantastic day, of course. I've uh, got some really good pickups. I started off with a, uh, a Sting figure from the 83 June movie, 12 pounds. Bargain. Uh, also got a real Ghostbusters werewolf. Scary. Which was uh, 10 pounds. And then this was probably the find of the day. This was a bargain, these two. When, really I woke, when I woke up this morning, I had no idea there was a, a figure line of the movie Armageddon. So I got uh, Bruce Willis himself, Harry Stamper. And I'd like to hold them for yes, you. I'd be your assistant please. here. And also, uh, let, let me check the name, AJ Frost. I can't remember who played him. But they went uh, on one stall, Bruce was going for 40. Found him on another stall for 25. Craig from uh, not, Craig's Nostalgia Collection jumped in, and I got both for 35. Bargain of the day. Can't be that. Followed up with another bargain. 
Mezco Giotto Gesto for sixty-five pounds. Sixty-five pounds. Now I got that retail at what ninety. So that was an absolutely fantastic pickup. So Phil is now off to Wales, and he's going to take these bad boys with him. Yeah. All right, my next guest, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's Craig's nostalgic collection from Instagram. Here Craig, right, Jay. say hello to the public. What have you got, sir? Hi guys, I got Wolverine for Toy Biz. Yep, the classic one on a decent card back, so that's going in my mint on card collection. Very uh, mint, very mint. It's so a yeah, full ed- Wolverine collector, aren't you, Edition three as well, oh. so the blue and gold one. Very nice. So yeah, so looking it's... forward to going in the collection with more. That is Craig. He's had a lovely time with Wolverine. I'm sure we'll see him again on the channel with his cracking audio from his iPhone. We'll see him again on the live stream. See Thank you, later, Craig. Guys. Right. So who's coming in next, ladies and gentlemen? We have a very special guest now. It's me, it's Adam Moran. Hey, <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? Adam, a Batman Moran. Ryan Ting's best friend has turned up in disguise as Display One. It's Rich M himself here on the show. I haven't even seen this. Rich, what you got, sir? I've got Ice Maiden from Justice League International from DC Direct. Look at that. That's fantastic. I didn't know you picked that up at all. This, this is news to me as we finish. I got a comic book of Alpha Flight special, which is like a Wolverine machine in there. Very nice. And most important pickup of the day. Oh. I got Retropop with Delta Good Drum. She's back, ladies and gentlemen. She's back. I don't even know who she Best is. Best pickup, Jay. I think I, no one can top that. Delta Good Drum, back in the charts. Did, didn't she marry my Brian McFadden? She left him like Kerry Katona before her. She's absolutely out of Absolutely. Brian McFadden's a bad it. egg, Jay. No, bad no. egg he is. Worst member of Westlife. Well, there you go. You are learning today. So. I'm on my <laughs> He's got me going here. Rich Ham has been cracking us up all day. It's been great to meet him for the first time in person. And thank you for coming. It's lovely to meet you. Thank Bye. you very much. Right. Who else is here for pickups? Cheeky Monkey is with me. She has absolutely nothing. Do you dare come and quickly say hello? Did you get anything today? Uh, I bought some drinks at the break time. That's it. Fantastic. So a lovely give... bottle of water she got me. You can leave now, dear. Oh, she bye. has done all the filming, though, <laughs> so do give her a shout out in the comments below for her great filming of the Toy Fair. And, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, of course, it's the man whose car I am currently set up on. It's Dan Who himself here, and I think he really does have the steal of the day here. Pow, okay. I don't usually spend money on these things. You can witness to that, right? I can usually. No, you are just having a browse. We're just, having a good time. We're talking toys. Just check the has sprung. Just, just chill. 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 From the bush. We're getting heckled here from the bush. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, so, like, I'm trying to fill gaps in my collection. I'm in a bit of a refurb situation where I'm just trying to fill gaps, right? So I heggled myself and managed to get uh, this wasp. I passed up this wasp about 20 times for a fiver. So I feel pretty foolish, actually, for even paying £10 for this. But... I think the giant man hype at the minute, they haven't revealed Wasp yet. I needed a comic Wasp, so I've got the comic Wasp from the Ultron wave. I actually had to give up the Builder figure piece back to the vendor. It's though. gone. Ultron's out of here. He's yeah. just gone. The, the guy wouldn't sell it to me unless I give him back the Builder figure piece. So there you go. And I also wanted uh, Reese, their Reese head uh, for School Buster for my, my Ravagers or Reavers. Reavers? Reavers for uh, X-Men. So just filling gaps, just filling gaps. But this is the biggest gap. Here it is. It's a good one. This is a good one. I didn't think I'd be spending this much money today. They had it all for £200, which is... I guess for the 2014 it came out, it's a team in a box, it's the Guardians. We've just had the new Guardians movie and didn't get comic versions of these. The one we did get was a classic version of Star-Lord, so I thought I'm in safe territory to get this. You feel like... like, I, I, right? I have got this set and I paid £150 for this in 2018. Yeah. So you've got this for a real good, a good bargain price and it's a classic set. I've even got the box in the loft. Yeah, £150, which is not as much, I didn't want to spend that much today, honestly. I was happy with my £10 wasp, but uh, I couldn't pass it up. I'm, I'm rebuilding the collection. I love the Guardians, didn't have them in comic form. It pissed me off that I missed this set all those years ago. So it was on the table. I just had to take it, so there you go, £150. I wouldn't have paid a penny more. I wouldn't pay a penny I more. I wouldn't have paid... His negotiation skills were off the train. This yeah. was marked up at near £200, yeah. and he did his thing. Do you know what, Jen? What's that? From the fucking Legends guy. He's the Legends guy. He is off. He's, he's forgotten some. Pow, he's off there. So that has been the pickup segment of the video. I may film a little bit more of us driving home. You're on my car. Yeah, I'm on your car. So uh, we're going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Toy Fair 2023, NEC. It's been a great day. Who grew for life? That's too sweet. That's too, too sweet. sweet. It's too sweet, that. sir. It's too sweet. He's been banner all along. Pow. See you later. I've got to show you the app, but we're cutting off. We're cutting off. The video's ended. It's off. And here we are, some little bonus footage. We're, we're on the way home now, coming down the M5. As you can see, darkness has fallen. We've been out so long. May have even been for a sneaky cup of tea with a certain Mr. Who. So I might put a little picture in at the end here of Hellfire Hank, the actual Hellfire Hank 
in my hands. So we're just getting off the motorway and I think we will finish with some fish and chips. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the video here outside a traditional British fish and chip shop because we are getting fish and chips for tea because we are absolutely starving. So Cheeky Monkey is in there somewhere. There she is with a little duck hat on. She's putting in the order. We got large fish, we got large chips, and that's going to end it all. So I have been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK and an epic UK toy fair and Who Crew meetup. So please do comment, like, and of course subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll see you all next time. Bye now.